Hello, sir. So I know right now we, we're headed to Atlanta, but we're actually picking up from uh, St. Stephen, South Carolina, mm -hmm. headed to Atlanta, and then from there, we just keep it going. So we're just going to let y'all see. So we don't even know where it's going to take us. So we might end up, for Cali end up in California for all we know. So this is going to be pretty uh, lengthy. It's going to be a pretty lengthy video. So hope y'all enjoy it. Watch the whole thing. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yep. Thanks. Make sure y'all like it. When y'all click the video, just like it. You, ain't, you ain't gotta watch it for real. Like, well, you can't. Well, you gotta watch it. But before you even watch it, it's just like it. Thanks. Anything you gotta say, brother, about this this journey? Shout, we out, have shout out to my boy Deron. He always be watching. And I said next video, I was gonna shout his ass out. <laughs> I appreciate you, my boy. You always watching our videos. Shout out to Deron. Shout out to Deron. If you see this, hit me up. Yeah. Whenever you watch this video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, so we had to pick up location. My man's in the bathroom, but we got the uh, partial that we dropping off in Atlanta right now. Waiting on the guy to bring the pallet jack so we can bring him to the edge for Look at Mr. Wise guy, bro. So oh, he, wow, <laughs> so he pulled it that side. Right so how he about to think he about to get this off? Here, my boy. Yeah, we had a. Too much, you working? Yeah, trying to get us a low, man. Make yeah. it work a good week. We getting in. We get trying to get it in. So let us get it in. All right, so we in the we at the pilot truck stop right now. It's pretty deep. See, my man, he's still locked in. He locked in. He determined. He didn't even look up. He's locked in the phone. He's man walking and look at the phone, man. man it's cold out there, man. Yeah, it is cold. It's cold. But it's deep. Yo, oh, the realest shit I've seen. That boy is cutting up. It is 30 degrees outside. Why is he cutting up like that? It is 30 degrees outside. He got the, he got the Santa's on. 
No, the thong sandals. You should have got a dude that had a tank top on. Man, he had a tank top on with the tattoos out. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> straight walking like it's a summer day, too. Like, he was just not walking fast, just straight. Like, it's not like 30 degrees Bro, outside. I said that to my man. I said, bro, and he just got out of the shower, too. You know what that is? Pneumonia. That's walking pneumonia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man, we just. That boy needs some ginger ale. He's gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, so we done made it to Birmingham. Got our pickup, about to head back to Atlanta. Well, we actually waiting on them to give us a door. We got our paperwork and everything. We waiting to get to our door and then get loaded and head back to Atlanta. Got to drop off by six, so we still got plenty of time. It's only like uh, one o'clock, so we got plenty of time. So, my man's right there. He on the phone with dispatch. He, he do what he do. You know what I'm saying? He do what he do. He does what he do best, man. My man. Man, a, a, a double edged sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably. What do you mean? It's probably in the, on the seat somewhere. I, I, I'm gonna get the same damn thing. Driver Appreciation Day. We in Birmingham right now. We just picked up our load. We just picked up our load. We headed back to Atlanta. Drop that one off. They got a late drop off, so we can drop that off at six. Great thing is, we got another pickup too. We got another pickup in Atlanta after this. So we drop one today. We'll drop two today. We're about to drop two today and pick up one. So, right. so it's a eventful day today. So we're busy. Huh. All right, so man just got the phone. Apparently the one that we're going to pick up next that's in Atlanta going to South Carolina. They just canceled it because they want to change. It was 90, but 96 high or something? Yeah, they wanted to break it down. Yeah, so now they want to break it down. So now they done pushed it back. So now we're back to find another load. So we did, we did a pretty decent day, but you always want to do more. Do more. So we still looking with Day. We had autos on right now because this morning we had to put some death in our uh, tank and we had an issue with our uh, air pressure when uh, rise. We had something uh, loose under here, so we had to get a, a rent. This little piece right here was unloose, so it was letting all the air out. And all you have to do is tighten it up. All right, y'all. We still in. The, it's the next morning. Today is what Wednesday. Today is Wednesday over the road. Wednesday. You slept at the truck stop last night. Mm -hmm. Right now we're looking for the next load. Eating a little, eating a little brunch. I got a little American Deli. Mm -hmm. Man's over there throwing down. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes. Yeah. So. Just stay tuned. Keep it close. We keep it close. All right. All right, y'all. So now we back again. We still here. We are still in Atlanta right now. We. Oh man. Mm -hmm. All right. We so we found a load. We're headed to Houston. Out of Atlanta. So we should be there. We're picking it up today. Today's Wednesday, like we said, and delivers tomorrow. So we should be there later on tonight. Yeah, 
Week long vlog over the road. OTR, OTR, OTR. We're here at the pickup location. Oh, what time is it? 149. 149. Pickup time is 2 30, so just sitting here waiting. To be. Just chill. Yeah, just chill. Wait till 2 30. Hit the road. All right, so yeah, we just we ended up getting loaded earlier, so it was like some type of miscommunication with the dispatcher and the uh, office. But they already had the load. I went up there, went in the back just to make sure. You never know, so you just ask, and they'll just tell you to wait or not. So we went back there. They said it's ready, so they loaded us up. We all loaded before two thirty, so now we headed uh, headed to uh, Houston. No, Belmont. Yeah, Belmont. Oh, uh, yeah, Belmont. Belmont. I don't know. Belmont, Texas. Belmont, Texas, and then we headed to Houston. Yeah, they headed to Houston. It's a two. It's a pick one drop too. So we we headed there, and then the great news about it is the dispatcher called us. The uh, receiver is actually uh, 24 hours. So once we get there, we go ahead and drop it. So that's a plus, and then start from there. So y'all, uh, stay tuned. Texaco, we in Louisiana right now. I don't know which city right now. Where man is that? But I don't know which city we're in right now, but it's, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're, but we find it for the low. We got diesel for $2.99. Yeah. We never seen that. Fun tip, try to find the cheapest gas. Like, especially when filling up these trucks, it costs a lot of money, so if you can, Drive to like a little small, um, like my man said, this car. Time saver? Yeah, it's it's called a Toby Texaco. Yeah. But I didn't switch the whole name. But... Time saver? I, I don't know. It's diesel. Oh, that's good. Right there. Well, we got there last night, so hey. we get here. They're closed. No, so, no, no, you didn't. You didn't correctly tell it. No. So the lady keep calling us, right? So we pick up at. We pick up in Atlanta at around. How we picked up? Honestly, all our days been running together. We working so hard, and I'm so tired. Um, uh, I think like. No, remember we picked up at two. Remember at two, we picked up early at two o'clock. Okay. Yo, okay, we picked up at two in Atlanta, right? We're coming to Texas. She calls us at three o'clock and I'm like, where you guys at? I said, we 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 uh passing through Alabama. She talked about, all right, what's your what's your time y'all getting there? We said uh, about 12, 31 o'clock. She talked about, all right, then they'll be there waiting for y'all. We was like, oh word, we got some happy thing we can deliver. Man, I pulled up here at 1 30, guess what? The lights off and the gate was closed. I sat in the parking lot, I looked stupid. Yeah, so, we had to, <laughs> so we had to come back and pretty much now we got to do everything today so yeah two jobs today yeah. but look it's early it's they're working though they're they working, working though so we good see getting these in and he just empty crates and texas y'all eat people truck drivers to texas y'all eat the way y'all getting paid y'all eat I see that. I like Texas. I do. I like Texas a lot. All right, y'all. So we done got the uh, Baymont unloaded and everything. Now we headed on over to uh, Houston. Drop this other half and then find a load. We're going back to, on the south, hopefully. But stay tuned.
Yes, sir. We here. Assist, what? You said what? Yeah. Assist is like, what's up, brother? Go run, run, tell him, tell him. Yeah. I'm like, man, you're professional. You got this shit. Like, so this man thought I was about to hit this this pickup truck right here, backing in. Speaking of for real, bro, for real. Like, <laughs> bro, thought I was gonna hit his truck, like, bro. He must not know I do this, bro. I know how to whip this thing, man. I whip this. But now nah, we here, man. Just getting these carts done. Made it to Houston, man. We we the folks we in the H time, man. H time. So we here. You we know, we just trying to find something to leave here. I would love to stay and kick it and everything, but I got a little business to take care of. There was any other month besides Christmas month? See, that's what. That's what. See, that's what, that's what, right there. Don't need the Fort Lil. Electric pallet jack. Cause then they be like, oh, oh, well, the, the hand manual pallet jack be doing too much for me. Man, come on, that man said, boom, easy work. For real. Because when no folks see us, they be like, oh man. We be like, no, you can't put the pallet jack on there. Well, I mean, you can't put the Fort Lil on there. Well, but you could do the pallet jack yourself. No, sir. It's no yeah, touch. Yeah, it's no touch, sir. So, yeah, if you a, if you a warehouse man, just get a electric pallet jack. Like for real, these people be really upset when we say you can't. You can't. Put you try to take care. You take nice care of your stuff. They throw hey, them top away. Hey, we didn't get it on video, but it was just one time. It was just one time. Bro, hey, end up getting into it with it's my uncle, man. <laughs> hey, this one time, bro, had got into it with this one guy at the warehouse. Man, the man, bro, was like, man, you can't put the forklift on here. He was like, hey, you see that pallet jack over there? Yeah. You can, you can, uh, you can get the pallet jack and do it yourself. Bro yeah. said, are you being a smart ass? Yeah. He was like. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I ain't being a smart ass. I'm just saying. Yeah, being smart ass. <laughs> you, no, you was being smart ass. I'm about to get his ass too, man. For real. He was bro, real about to get on his ass. He said, you did it. Because said, all we asked was real respect. Was smart. Like, don't put the... Because since your boss truck, you're going to hear If you put a pallet jack on it. That's going to fuck up your system. Yeah, you hear that junk all cracking, your full bed, and then your wheels, you just see it drop down. You actually be courteous, especially with your nice stuff. You say it's so courteous and respectful. They got something smart to say. But... My uncle is stupid, man. This dude is here. He brought his mommy so much of my family back at home. Crazy. This man done broke this. Hey, buddy, right there done broke the damn. We done sat here, bro. We've been sitting here waiting for 30 minutes for this train to move so we can move. But this nigga done broke the. Ah, damn. Look, he done broke the damn thing. He about to fuck it up, too. But that shit keep going. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, damn. I ain't about to fuck with it. Wait till everybody lift, and I'm gonna go. Oh man, he over here breaking shit. And he and he done did the dance, but he is gone. He in a hot shot. Equivalent to Zaxby's on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? Pretty good meal. So, right now we work on it getting this low. My, you see my face dripping. It is winter time. Why is it hot out here? Like, it is hot in San Antonio right now. We had to come with my hoodies and everything. Like, it is hot. Like, it's feel like springtime. So, yeah, so now we're headed to, uh, getting it working on this low right now waiting on the rate con hopefully we still you know sometimes it might be flaky because you never know what these you can't guarantee everything because right now we have a load going from houston to san antonio but hey we get you the, can't you, guarantee, you can't get, guarantee nothing truck. until you get that rate con right Re, yeah really to get in your truck yeah. for real because rate con all right oh boom he go call me right now yes sir 
Yes, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Bye -bye. All right, my fault, my fault. But, but all right, y'all. So we are at the pickup location. So we end up we end up getting off the phone with them and getting the load. So we're here. It's like thirty miles outside of Houston. So we're here at uh, what's it? What part of Houston? Uh, Texas. We're in Baytown, Texas. We're in Baytown, Texas. So we're here picking this Baytown, up. Baytown, Texas. We're picking it up. So we get here. First of all, everybody at this warehouse got an attitude. Like, right. For what reason? But okay, so we get here. Now they're telling us we get here, it's not ready. It's pick up tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know if it Bam. This batch. And guess what we guess we dealing with, y'all? TQL. I know we call them TQL scammers, but TQL. This one, this, hey, hey, you might they have some diamonds in the rough now. They might have they do have some good ones now. Yeah, I was about to say but something. This, this, I thought I'm a nice paid one. pretty good in this. We're getting paid over two dollars for this. We get like two what, like two fifty yeah. a mile. I, I, I'm about so it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Losers, but then I said, nah, that ain't cool because yeah. they nice to us. Yeah, they, they, they have their workers. They got some new workers. Yeah. We got some people that we really like there. So yeah. we're here now, and it said it's not ready. So we called them like, man, Nick, what's going on? I don't know if I should tell his name, but it's probably a lot of Nick. Nick is a common name. So, bro, what's going on? They saying it's unavailable. Nah, man, I'm going to phone getting, <laughs> I'm on the phone with them right now. They said we've been having that issue all morning. I'm trying to get it confirmed. I'll call you back in five minutes. My, my, mind you, he, call me back in five. He, he called us and asked for a time update. So, so why you ain't call and confirm like yeah. 30 minutes ago this when man we call, were confirming. driving? Yeah, you confirmed by a little once we get here. Yeah, like, once, we, once we're in the front desk over there talking to the lady, I was talking to the lady. She's talking about, no, man, sir, I'm sorry. We don't have no load for you. I'm like, uh, I don't care if y'all got to get 20 pounds of paper. And load it to to drive to San Antonio. You better put it back on there. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's going on three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> For real, dude. You know you can't get no. We done sat here, and way, came up with all this stuff, and got our schedule together. We over here booking other loads for tomorrow based off this. So you messing us up? Oh, here you go. I right, call him. See my man. He done sent us the BOL. He said they done got the printed BOL and printed it. So we good. So we gotta go back in there. Go ahead and slide. See, we we actually put. Boom! Look at that baby right there. Right there. You you blocking it, brother? You blocking it? What are we looking that, at? That baby right there. That box truck, brother. You don't see that thing? Oh, that I'm box truck. Yeah, but no, we actually going to pull up to San Antonio. Our brother, man, he don't even know that we. He know we in Houston, but he don't know we got to pull up on though. So we need to see him in the. Everybody surprised because he's about to be. Uh, He's in the Air Force, so he's stationed. Shout out, yeah. shout out, my boy. I don't know, we ain't gonna tell his name, because, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but shout out him. We, we about to pull up on him. He's about to be stationed in Japan shortly. The too. last time we surprised him, this is the funniest story. The last time we surprised him with a pull up was um, high, high school. school. Senior year. Yeah, we graduated from um, school. Then they had like a big old uh, get together uh, down Myrtle Beach. And at first, my dad said to me, I'm going to tell y'all something real quick. My parents are really strict. So they was like, they was like, I asked them, can I go with them to, uh, to the little senior thing? My daddy talking about, nah, son, you going to burn down the hotel. I said, what? <laughs> like, like, who parents said that? Like, nah, you ain't going out. He's like, why? So you going to burn down that hotel. I'm like. But us three together, we could yeah. turn. We, we, he is right, but he was exaggerating. He was exaggerating. He right, and we turned up. Now we burned down the room. We don't burn at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> we know how to act. And this was like 18. Yeah, everybody yeah, been 18. crazy, dude. You know what I'm But I pulled up. I and my dad ended up letting us go. I pulled up on him at a Miyabi's. Dude, that dude was He's so like, happy. Yeah, we was like, dude. bro, we ain't come to get him. He, like, he was so happy. Now we about to surprise him. And then he was there with his girlfriend, all her friends. So he's the yeah. only guy. So he's like, bro, he I was thought so we happy. backed. We flaked out on him in the last minute and still yeah. pulled up. We pulled up yeah. the restaurant. We had to tell the location, but we still do. Yeah, yeah. That's what what the we actually got it on video. If I could find that video, I might put it on video. Yeah, video. I'm putting but it on video. I haven't yeah. changed my look so different. Man, say, so man, y'all might not put up on me. Yeah, we I look, look I way different as kids now. Mm -hmm. We got facial hair now. But yeah, so let's go on inside, bro. And go on. I know she probably dealing with Charlemagne. Bro, this man ain't here look just like Charlemagne. Y'all, if y'all watch us. Uh, cheap <laughs> He's been like a hamster, but no, he got in front of us, so now we gotta wait. Bro, look at this man. This man is sat here and spilled all the charcoal. He is hilarious. <laughs> 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 
Huh? He don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yo, look at this shit, Adam. He just marinated this shit all on the ground, like. Hmm? But he just marinated shit all on the ground. But look at him. <laughs> For real, he's been cutting up, bro. This man is not gonna be here a month. But people get around us, but they always wanna cut. Yeah, they always wanna cut up. I don't know why. I, we just got that good energy. Yeah, they wanna. We just got that good energy. This man having a good ass time with us. I sat here and made a whole mess and doing donuts. <laughs> He about to get fired, mess around with us. Fired, we ain't even doing nothing. <laughs> Man, we gotta put this bitch in. Ooh. Man, this is a... Yo, yeah, that one go. Appreciate you. I'm gonna need two more too. Yeah, we just made, I think we got this one. I'm so mad we did not get this shit in the video because this man, he had them double stack and knocked it. The manager was like, you shouldn't do that. He's like, no, baby, I got it. And then mind you, he knocked all of it over. Like right after he said, no, I got it. And I had the camera out and I missed it like fast. But like, the funniest this week part, has though, been crazy. Bro. But the funniest part, the way he introduced himself, he said, I hate working. I just want to sell crap. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that man really just said, man, I like selling crap. I'm like, Whoa, brother. Texas. Brother, get you a trade, my brother. You. We'll be hiring soon, brother. We, we we look out for we look out for each other. Like you ain't gotta sell crack, brother. First of all, who's still smoking crack? <laughs> he said, "Fuck, like for real." Who the hell is still smoking crack? Bro, look at this. Hey, you this man is on the phone. Bro. He's on the phone putting this shit back together. Appreciate you, my guy. Hey, yo. Hey, that's a cricket. You can talk to him. You don't care. Oh, oh, shit, sure. For real, he he's on. He he focused on what the fuck he got going on. Oh uh, yeah, crack energy. Leave Allison. Crack energy. <laughs> it's the crack for me. <laughs> Tell that motherfucker. It's the crack for me. Yo, that nigga got crack energy, but for real, I gotta wash my hands too. Oh my god. Oh man. All right. What's up, YouTube? So uh, we just finished, got to get a load up, and uh, and Baymont, Texas. And now we're in San Antonio uh, to drop off in the morning. So we're right. gonna, uh, we had talked about that already. We're gonna chill with our yeah, friend. We're about to have, we're and we're just about to go pull up on him right now. And yeah, we just cool. gonna chill with him for the night and spend some time with man. And then we're gonna drop it off in the morning and hopefully get us a little headed back to the south. So, you know, stay tuned and, uh, man, say something. We in Texas, man. Texas, fuck, man. I love it out here, man. Yeah. Texas has been yeah, a date. It, I've been laughing over there. So, so today was crazy, yo. So, we've been keeping y'all up to date, but the majority of this video, y'all gonna be dying at Texas, man. Texas is hilarious, dude. I think it's, it's just so much to do here. People just don't know what to do with themselves. I, I swear, they're the nicest people, but they just rude at the same time, but they don't really mean no harm, though. I learned that shit, like, just being out here, they might be a little snappy. It's because, like, it's just so much going on. It's a big state. Like you can be in Texas, drive 10 hours and still be in Texas. Like not every state you can do that. So, you know, he was- well, so buddy in front of you. Like, why are you doing, why are you experience. doing Experience. Yeah, I don't know. And then trains too. Uh, I think we ran about what, three trains today? Yes, bro, three trains. We three here train, at another train. We, had, we got stuck train. at the same spot coming in here to pick the load up. Now we getting caught. Coming, Another these, train. Like, leaving. The trains are crazy. And then it should move slow. Like, I'm oh, talking about this train. Did he just throw piss out the window? Man, I like, throw it. Oh. I don't oh, know. Heck, then my man, like, the truck, the train, I've never seen trains move that damn slow. Yeah, I don't know. No, the, there was a train there. I thought about this morning. But, I don't know, guys. We're going to keep y'all up well, today. We're going to, that's what y'all about to see us. We're about to ride there. But when we pull up San Antonio, y'all see uh, I'll talk to y'all. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Okay. Hello, my dear. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, brother? All right, you two. So we just uh, finished up this week. Today is Saturday. 
and uh, we delivered that uh, San Antonio load. You know, we seen you pull up on bro, and you know, tell us what's up, brother. All right. <laughs> yeah, so we had to drop the San Antonio load off, and how did that go, my brother? Well, basically, I had to touch the freight and break it on each pallet. It's like 50 charcoal bags on each pallet, and I had to hand deliver them to the uh, to the restaurant. It was like this really nice restaurant, but it took like three hours, and uh, but we ended up getting paid a little bit more. Yeah, so. We just, you know, ended up continue, wanted to continue the overall experience, so we're still here in San Antonio and start starting Monday, uh, heading further west. So we're gonna continue the journey, but this is really the end of this video. You know, this concludes the first week over the road. We appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all watched the whole video. If y'all really did, make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn those post notifications on yeah anything you gotta say mm -hmm. nope thanks for watching stay stay uh stay locked in yeah stay locked in y'all be safe during the holiday season we'll keep more content coming